by, I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. I know. Don't I'm do I gotta do something. <laughs> well, hello, and welcome to the kitchen. My name is Honey LeBronx, and yes, I'm vegan. I'm so glad you noticed. I have laryngitis. I don't always sound like this. You can check out my cooking show at vegandragqueen.com and you can listen to my podcast at bigfatveganradio.com. You can also buy some of my special world famous medieval oil at medievaloil.com. I'm doing that because there should be a title thing down there, probably, yeah. I've been wondering lately, what should a vegan eat when they want to feed their muscles? So today, I got for you guys Vegan bodybuilder extraordinaire, Miss Mindy Collette. Mindy, Mindy, where is she? Mindy, Mindy, come on! I'm so wonderful. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here today. Finally, it has happened to me right in front of my face, and I just cannot hide it. Is it hiding? I think so. I forget. Where's you? Ow. And then she goes and she breaks it down. Yeah, so we're going to break it down for you today. Okay, it's we're going to break down um, our muscles and then we're going to build them back up. That's right. Vegan style. So what are we making? Well, first of all, we're going to make Daterade. Oh, which beautiful. I've talked to you a little bit about in the past. I think we talked about that in my interview, actually. We did. On the Big we Fat did. Vegan Radio. Yes. We interviewed her for Big Fat Vegan Radio. And when I came out of the closet as a Gatorade drinker, Mindy said, no. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. It's bad chemicals and it's fake sugar and you can do it with whole foods. You sure can. Which we're going to do today. She's not just pretty. She used to be a chemist, apparently. Well, so like, you know. Yeah. She's like mad scientist lady. So how do we make data raid? Super easy. So okay. if you have the most precious precious blender on the planet, which is a Vitamix right here. Oh, you mean one of these? One of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have this. Don't touch it. It's mine. So if you have a Vitamix, the beautiful thing is, is you can just throw your dates and your water and a little bit of cinnamon if you would like, Ooh. straight in there, whip it up, and it's fresh and ready to go. If by some poor act of life and you don't have another Vitamix, I feel for you, and I didn't used to, so I would soak my dates overnight. Yeah. You just put them in the water, put them in the fridge so they're nice and cold, and then throw it on your regular blender. Blend it up and it's good to go. And then you have a delicious, foamy, frothy heaven. Yeah, pretty much the only difference between this and the regular blender is this has the muscle yes. to get through all of these dates without them having to be softened overnight in water. But we're gonna get all elitist up in here because I own a Vitamix, bitches! So, first of all, first we remove the lid. First, we take the lid off. First, we take the lid off. And if by some chance you. Everyone, didn't... take your top off. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> so, if you buy dates and they are not pitted, yeah. then you obviously want to pit them because yeah. that's something the Vitamix doesn't love. I've accidentally put those in a time or two. What happened? It just gets. You hit these little um, pieces of like hard bullet, shards. Bullet of, fragments. Basically, yeah, yeah. They're really gritty and they kind of go down your feet. I okay. ended up straining. You don't you, it's just yeah. work. Don't do that. Extra work. Don't so even it. even when you buy them pitted, sometimes you might find a little pit in there. Yeah. So, so just kind of just feel be careful. them. Yeah. And the trick with dates, I've learned, is that if your fingers are wet before you touch them, they don't stick to you. Genius. Boom. So make sure your hands are a little wet. What I do is I count out, these are kind of smaller dates, mm -hmm. usually um, I like the medjool dates. They're, okay. These are medjool dates too, but there are larger ones from, I think, Iran or something, and they're larger. They're just like candy. I they, can just eat one. They really are. They're so good. So if they're larger... I got a pit. I got a pit. Did you? Oh, I was like, don't do this. Um, so if, if they're larger ones, just 10, but these aren't very big, and I like a lot of data raids, so mm. 20. 20 of these bad boys you are going in. You take 20? 20. So for, for like how many, for like one workout, you'll do 20? Uh -huh. Oh my God. I've only been doing, since she told me to do this, I've been putting like 10 or 14 dates to like four cups of water, but you do more than that, huh? She's counting it. I'm messing up her counting. H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P. <laughs> okay, so that's 20 so dates. That is 20 dates. And that, I think that I get hit. If, Careful. Um, yeah. <laughs> we don't want this. If, um, yeah, just if they're smaller, I mean, it's based on size. You know, mm -hmm. some of them, I mean, are larger and you can get by with fewer. Mm -hmm. So maybe you have bigger dates. 
I don't know. Honey, I don't even remember them at this point. So then, um, from here, it's just the water. Okay. And then I like a little bit of cinnamon because I like cinnamon. Do you like cinnamon? I don't like a little bit of cinnamon. You like a lot of cinnamon. I like a lot of Yay. cinnamon. There's okay, no such thing you. as too much cinnamon. Thank you. No I, such thing. I agree. Okay, let's do some cinnamon. Cinnamon. I'm just going to do know. this. You know, I don't, I don't know how much you like, but I'm going to go ahead and do that for now. Okay. And we'll, we'll see. We can always add more. That's the beauty of the Vitamix. <laughs> whole thing. Right? Yeah, so how much water? I'm going to do three cups. Okay. Three cups with this. And if for some reason, sometimes I kind of like it just like tap water cold. Yeah. But if, A, if you soaked your dates overnight in the fridge, they're going to be cold. But B, if you didn't do that, if you do have Vitamix and you're just going to throw it in there, you can throw some ice in there and a little extra water and it'll make just it gonna really say, cold and delicious. Because the Vitamix will heat things up as they blend mm -hmm. from the friction of the blade. Okay, great. I've got the water. Do you want to do the honors? Um, okay. I, I don't want to mess anything up. Here we go. Perfect. That felt spiritual for me. It, that felt spiritual. It should. That was a spiritual dates, moment. Dates are holy. Get that away from me. Okay. And now we will just cap it. Okay. And now, do we want to use the tamper? To like, no. We're just gonna let it do its thing. It should do okay in okay. the Vitamix, but let's just say it okay. doesn't. We can always. So whatever you're using the Vitamix, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the speed all the way down. Don't have the speed up high. Have the speed down and have this set not to high, have it set to variable. So variable, speed down. So when you turn it on. It's hello. Is this a light little rumba? <laughs> and then you can turn the speed up. Two hours later. Is that about long enough, you think? So okay. it looks really frothy and creamy. I don't, you look really frothy and pretty. And what was the second adjective? Creamy. You look really frothy and creamy. <laughs> I, know, I have a saying: anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So I always end up when I end up taking the lid off of this. There's steam coming off of it always. I'm like, oh, I overdid it. Beautiful, nice, frothy, and that's what you're gonna take to the gym. That's what you're gonna work Heaven. out with. So is this ready to drink? It is ready to drink. I mean, you might want a little more cinnamon in there. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Oh, uh, heaven. Screw you, Gatorade. Who needs that? Yeah, my God. Chemicals. I don't know what's in Gatorade, but I do, know, coloring. I do know what's in Gatorade. You do, because you just made it. Boom. There Cheers, you go. Hello. 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 I am going to be bouncing off the walls. I know. It's so good. Sometimes I'll make this before I go to the gym, and then I start drinking it, and then I'm like... Yeah, I'm not going to go to the gym. <laughs> and I'll keep drinking it, and then I'm like, Don't I'm wired. I gotta do something. It's so much sugar. But the beauty of this is that you're not just getting the sugar, because you're getting the whole food in there, so you're getting the fiber, yeah. so your body can process it. So I'd say, I'd say it's a winner. And if you have it with like a banana mm -hmm. or something, you're also activating your salivary glands. Nice. And the enzymes start to break down the fiber of this in here, so it's a good choice to maybe have something to snack with it. So this is a good drink that you would make before working out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sure would. And, uh, and you would sip on this during your workout as well? Yeah, I really like to just put, put it in my little protein shaker, just take the little ball out, yeah. a little whisk ball, yeah. and just sip on it. I'll, I'll actually take some of this and I'll put it in, um, in like a liter and a half bottle, empty water bottle, uh -huh. and then I'll add like a scoop of protein powder to it, oh, yeah. and then I shake that up and I sip that during my workout. That sounds like a good plan. Mm. So good. And it's you know great. who we really have to thank for this is Freely Frugivore from the 30 Bananas a Day. Hi, because, Freely. Hi, Freely. Because A, she's amazing, but B, because she put out the first video of this that I ever saw. And she just did dates and water. Um, I kind of added the cinnamon just because I'm kind of like you and I love, love me some cinnamon. cinnamon. Um, so she's awesome. You should also check her out and give her lots of love because she deserves it. You know who else does dates and water? Who's that? Dolphins. Ha 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 